Hi, I'm Dave Adams with TJN, the Jesus Network. It's time to change the planet. And today I have uh, the distinct pleasure and blessing of talking to Bob Maxwell. Now, Bob Maxwell received the Medal of Honor for throwing himself on a live hand grenade in France during World War II. Bob, glad to have you with us today. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. Now, your faith in God has, has a unique place and a very important part in your life and probably had a bearing in your willingness to give your life for others. Yes, that's true. Uh, not only that, but uh, I, I think my faith in God sustained, uh, through God's power, sustained me during times of trouble. And uh, that's one of the things that we as Christians enjoy is uh, help and protection from God. But not only that, and, and a, a great life here on earth and eternal life to come. Now, one thing you said to me that stuck with me was that the two greatest medals are the Cross of Christ and the Medal of Honor in that order. Yes, sir. This was uh, spoken by uh, uh, a great news commentator a few years ago. He he became a Christian, and uh, he said that uh, there are two symbols of, of peace and, and sacrifice, self-sacrifice in the world, which is true. Uh, one is, of course, the, cor the Cross of Christ, and the other is, uh, is the Congressional Medal of Honor. Now, when you talk to young people, one of the things that we're trying to, to instill on young people is a definition of honor. There's just so many temptations that they have today and so many things pulling them this way and the other that uh, we'd really like to have examples of honor, and you're in a living example of that. As you talk to young people about honor, what message would you have for them? Well, honor is, is uh, necessary to maintain uh, a life that is pleasing to God, for one thing, that of course that's above all. Uh, we, we, I don't think we can really true, truly be honorable unless we have the Spirit of God within us. And I think uh, the evidence of moral decay in the country today is, is showing that. For example, you take God out of the school and what do you have? You have bullying, we have murders and, and all kinds of things going on that we shouldn't have. Uh, well, I've heard a, 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 a comment from a lady, I think it's Billy Graham's daughter, said that uh, God is a gentleman, and we, when we ask him to get out of our lives, he, he does so. But there's consequences to that. Oh, definitely. We see consequences all over. Uh, of course, uh, the, uh, the current conflict in, in the, uh, the wars in this country, in this world, uh, is not a war necessarily of uh, bombs and bullets and mines, but it's a war of, of principalities and uh, and ideas. Uh, we take the idea of uh, of, of Mohammed uh, and the terrorist extreme, which says Christians will will be converted to Mohammedism or they must be di they must die. And when and uh, when we go have a whole generation of young terrorists running around seeking to de destroy the people of God, we've got trouble. Yes, we do. Now, some people might argue that God is a God of peace, and why would Christians uh, use war sometimes? But uh, war sometimes has to happen. There were wars in the Bibles. You are uh, you know, a very strong man of faith and uh, believer in God, but you went to World War II, and, and you fought on the side of the Allies. So if people are watching and they're having trouble equating a God of peace with sometimes having to pick up arms and fight, what would you tell those folks? Well, I, I, I experienced uh, the thought that, that that war was wrong because my, my I grew up at my grandparents' house and uh, my grandpa was a Quaker. And we didn't believe in uh, war and bloodshed, uh, but you know uh, when it com when when it comes time that that God's people are in danger, and uh, we, we saw that happening in, in Europe during uh, Hitler's reign, that uh, he was out to destroy the people of God. And uh, in, in a case like that, and, and then when they attacked us and, and tried to destroy us too, uh, there's no, no alternative but to go to, to go to battle with them. And uh, uh, th there are many ins uh, quotations in the Bible supporting uh, war, fight the good fight, uh, and and so forth. And th these are things that 
that are important to us. If we don't stand up for our our uh, Christian rights and for our liberties, we are, of all people, uh, are in ter a terrible shape. Okay. Bob Maxwell, it's a pleasure. God bless you. Thanks for talking with us today. Thank you, Dave. I'm Dave Adams, TJN, the Jesus Network. It is time to change the planet.